Hey! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and I am so happy that you're here. So, y'all can see by the title of the video, I will be budgeting and cash stuffing my sinking funds for my March side hustle income. One of my favorite videos to film always at the end of the month. So let's go ahead and get started. But right before I do, I just want to say, hey. Hey. Hi, hi, hi. One more bus. Hi, hi, hi. Boxes. Hi, 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 hi. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I love to have you. Join our fam, we are always lit. Over here and it's free to the free, to the free, to the free, to the free, to the whoop. It's free. So subscribe. <laughs> Y'all, FYI, this is my third video I have filmed back to back to back tonight. It's actually like 6.30 in the morning, so... Yeah, I'm tired, I'm delirious, but Lauren is with her dad, so I'm like, I need to get as much done as possible. So it's going to be an interesting video. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get started. So when I said it was going to be a budget with me, I really meant to say it was going to be more like a budget overview. I really want the video to focus more on the cash stuffing than the budgeting. Y'all have seen me budget my side hustle income for a hot while. So things aren't really different, but nonetheless, I'm going to go over it. So for the month of March, I had four side hustle income sources. That is Shopify, TaylorBudgets.com, YouTube, Sponsorships, and Amazon Affiliates. So let's go over them quickly. So for the month of March, from my shop, I received $9,102.56. Glory to God. All thanks to y'all. Y'all already know. Truly, 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 truly a blessing. Such a blessing, y'all. YouTube, I received $1,309.30. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> and that was from the month of February when I wasn't really um, posting much because I was in a little funk. I was focusing more on my mental health. But nonetheless, any income that comes from YouTube is a blessing and I truly appreciate it. Sponsorships, I received $2,700. Thank y'all so much because I wouldn't be able to partner with these brands if it wasn't for y'all. And lastly, Amazon Affiliates. So anytime I say to y'all, click the link down below in my description box if you want to purchase any of the products that I use in my video. If they are Amazon products, those links are specific to me. And because I signed up for Amazon Affiliates, I receive a teeny weeny small portion of the commission once you purchase from my link. Of course, it is at no extra cost to you. It just kind of helps you grow out a little bit. So for the month of January, I received $124.16 from y'all clicking on my links and purchasing whatever you purchased. So thank you so, so, so much. I'm really like a huge believer in multiple streams of income and that is what I've been focusing on and y'all are helping me make that possible. So I really, really, really love y'all so much. So in total for the month of March, I earned $13,236.02. That two cents we ain't playing with. I just did it because I did it, but we ain't even focused on that. So for my fixed expenses, let's start with tides. I always give 10% of my total income. So that was 
Taylor Budgets Taxes, 30%. That's $2,730, y'all. $2,700 for taxes. I pay more in taxes than I do my giving. Yeah, that says a lot. Okay, YouTube Taxes, 24%. That's $314. Uh, I take out taxes from my sponsorships. I take out 30% because I like to be safe rather than be sorry once tax season comes around. So I just take out taxes from all of my income sources. So 30% of my sponsorship, which was $2,700, was $810. My taxes from my Amazon affiliates, I took out 10%. Because it was a fairly low amount and I don't think I need to take out 30%. So I did 10% which was $12. Next is my brother Tor. I gave him $100 for helping me with my books. The maintenance fee for my business account, my business checking account is $30. And that comes out at the end or the last day of every month. Printify which is my t-shirts that I sell on my shop. $41. Supplies I purchased for my shop in the month of March came out to $657. Shipping cost $1,516. Um, I went to the post office and I had to mail a few packages that came out to $19. My Cricut membership $10. And then I had to pay my business credit card. So some of my business expenses come out of my business credit card it's good to use your business well it's good to use any of your credit cards sporadically to help your credit grow so that is what I do and I pay it off of course before the statement date that was five hundred and fourteen dollars and that included epidemic sound TubeBuddy, Canva and HP Inc. Yeah. Ink cost a lot of freaking money, okay? Jeez. <sighs> and then I had to file my annual report for my LLC. That was $139. And PayPal, it was $4. I had to refund a customer because she paid shipping for a digital product and that wasn't supposed to happen. So I refunded her right away. So all of my expenses totaled eight thousand two hundred and twenty dollars so if i subtract eight two two zero from my total income up here i had five thousand and sixteen dollars remaining so what i did with that five thousand and sixteen i kept three thousand in my business account which left me with two thousand and sixteen dollars so that two thousand and sixteen went towards savings so my 2022 savings challenges received five hundred dollars the video before this one is when i cashed off my savings challenges so that's already been completed also my 100 envelope box received sixteen dollars i did that in the last video but for this video we are cash stuffing fifteen hundred dollars for my sinking funds actually it's fourteen hundred my bad fourteen hundred scratch that 1400 <laughs> and the reason why it's 1400 instead of 1500 is because I gave a hundred dollars to a family in need and I basically took that from one of the sinking funds I was going to contribute to which once we get to that sinking fund I'll let you know what it is but anyway it's still basically 1500 I just saw a family in need today and I gave them some money God laid it on my heart to do so so of course I'm going to do it so these three savings amounts equal out to $2,016. If I subtract 2016 from 2016, that gives me zero for a zero based budget, which means that my total income, every dollar of it, is assigned to something. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now that I have completed my budget, let's go ahead Count the cash and get to stuffing. Okie dokie. So there should be $1,400 here. So let's go ahead and count it up. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fifties, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, four fifty. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, fourteen hundred dollars. Let's go ahead and start with my high priority sinking funds i also call this my adulting binder so we're going to start with three to six month expenses all trackers have been updated because i'm the bomb.com okay and i actually need it it's like my cheat sheet <laughs> three to six month expenses is receiving 50 and i'm gonna go ahead and bring out my calculator because y'all already know what it is one two three thousand one two fifty three so that's three thousand three hundred twenty five six seven that's twenty seven three thousand three hundred and twenty seven dollars in three to six month expenses is that right yes we are correct amundo and actually interest was added at the end of march so one dollar and four cents was added to my high yield savings account for my three to six month expenses so there's actually three thousand three hundred and twenty eight dollars and ninety four cents next is car maintenance it is receiving fifty dollars And if you haven't seen, I forgot which video I mentioned it in because this is my third video I have filmed tonight. Uh, but I have decided to purchase a vehicle instead of lease it. Which means that I need to have a heftier down payment. So I will be waiting about two, three months, we'll see, so that I can get that down payment to what I want so that I don't have to pay so much every month. And I think I'm gonna go with the 2021 Kia Sportage cause it's just sexy. Like point blank period, it's sexy and it's reliable. And my last car was a Kia, so I like them. And if, wait, I don't even know if I mentioned this or if you haven't seen my last two videos, my dad and I paid off my, my, my car. <laughs> At the end of March, my dad and I paid it off it is now my brother's car and I will be purchasing a new one. So glory to God. God is good. Blessings all around. <laughs> car payment. <laughs> car maintenance now has 1, 2, 253, 350, and 355. Next is not emergency fund that's fully funded with 3K. Health is receiving 50 as well. Health now has 1, 2, 253, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, and 79. 379 dollars. Next is investments. It's receiving $80, a 50, a 20, and a 10, 50, 70, 80. And my monthly contribution to investments is 100 a month. So this 80 is completing that 100.
There is now one, two, three, four, four fifty, five, five fifty, five seventy, five ninety, six ten, six thirty, six forty, six fifty, six fifty five, six fifty six for investments. Lawrence College is not receiving anything. I have contributed one hundred and twenty five dollars this month for Lauren Bear. Our home is receiving one hundred and seventy dollars. So one hundred fifty twenty for one seventy. And I did this budget a while ago. So when I said 170, I was like, oh snap. <laughs> oh boy, I'd be surprising myself. Okay, we now have ooh, bring the calculator out, girl. Who you kidding? One, two, three, four thousand. One, two, three, three fifty. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 97. 4,447 dollars in our home. Awesome! And next is New Whip. It was supposed to receive 500, but like I mentioned, I gave 100 to a family in need. So it's receiving 400. One, two, three, and four. And like I mentioned, of course, this is towards my down payment. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand, nine hundred, fifty, seven hundred, and ninety-five dollars. And I just want to say thank you to all of you who gave me advice or suggestions on whether I should lease or not. The reason why I decided not to is because of all of your advice. That there were some pros, there were some cons, but like I mentioned, the cons outweighed the pros. And I just, like, for one, you can only drive a certain amount in a leased car. And for some reason, that did not sit well with me. There's also, like more fees or like hidden fees that come with leasing I just didn't feel comfortable always having a car payment as well I would actually like to pay off a car and just keep it you know what I mean so that's the route I'm gonna go retirement is receiving a whopping 250 so that's these last two hundreds and a fifty and I contribute 500 a month to retirement, y'all. And that is so I can max out my retirement for the year of 2022 at 6,000. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 1,600. 1,700. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. 1805 yo if I counted that right I deserve some type of award <laughs> 1805 y'all your girl like my like my girl Brittany says two snaps student loan is not receiving anything but it's at 615 so I will be making that payment very soon Taylor budget is not receiving anything it has 250 and that is for my giveaway coming up soon so that is stuff. Let's move on to my low priority sinking funds. Okay, I feel like I'm moving very quick and I'm very happy about that. Amazon not receiving anything, but Beauty is receiving 75. So that's going to be a 50, a 20, and a 5. 50, 75. And I did get a pedicure today, actually. I was supposed to get my nails done as well, but I didn't have enough time because I had to go to my tax appointment. So I will be getting my nails done, actually, at 11 a.m., which is like in four hours, y'all. 
50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 60, 75. 175. Birthdays is next. It's receiving $10. And this is actually towards my baby's birthday, Lauren Bea. Like I mentioned, she's with her dad for the weekend or until Monday and she's having a good old time he was sending me all types of videos and pictures today her dad has a Great Dane and she just loves that dog so much which is crazy because the Great Danes are huge and she's like my little baby so I mean but she loves dogs when we move out I'm definitely going to purchase her a puppy like that is definitely going to happen so birthdays now has one one. <laughs> 150, 160, 165. That's it? Yeah, okay. I don't know why I thought I had more in there. Christmas is receiving $5. This is not for Christmas gifts. I am doing a This Christmas Savings Challenge. This is for Christmas decor and Christmas dinner if we have that. 20, 40, 45, and 50. It's getting well. I'm not going to say it's getting late because it is late and I have not slept, so please bear with me. It has $50. Clothes is not receiving anything. Electronics, nothing. Fun money though, $19. 10, 5, and 4 ones. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I feel like the long I've been filming for a good like three hours and I feel like the more I'm the more I film the quicker I go because I'm just like in a adrenaline I'm just like it's just going through my body and I'm just like get it done get it done. <laughs> 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And fun money. now has 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's a lot of ones. $85 in fun. Home goods, not receiving anything, but my baby is receiving 10. And she now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 50, and 155. And I actually think I'm going to not go shopping for her because the girl don't need anything. But just buy her a little something so that when I see her on Monday, I can give it to her because I love her so much. And I miss her. <laughs> little bros not receiving anything. They have 100 in there, y'all. Miscellaneous, not receiving anything. Holidays, receiving 25. And this is for Easter. And <sighs> Easter's on the 17th of April. And I honestly have enough in here for Easter. Um, but, you know, other holidays are going to come up. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 7, 8, 9, 100. This is for Lauren's Easter basket, and I may get my little brother something as well. Self-care is receiving 25. 20 and a 5. And it now has 51, 20, 40, 45, and 50. 150. I'm like zooming past this, y'all. I need to film tired more often. <laughs> Support Small is receiving 25 as well. And it has nothing in there because your girl shopped. I shopped all things planned. I got me some new envelopes for my wallet. And I am also starting a bills binder, y'all. You will see that soon. It's going to be a bills binder for my three to six month expense savings. I will not be stuffing my bills 
All right, y'all, my bad. I was rudely interrupted by my camera overheating, but what I was saying was that I purchased new envelopes for my wallet. I also purchased a new wallet. Oh, gosh, y'all. I just love budgeting things. <laughs> but I also purchased bills envelopes or cash envelopes for my bills, not to stuff on a monthly basis because I pay my bills online, but to start stuffing those bills for my three to six month expenses. So of course, I have a three to six month expense fund. But what I decided to do, and I got this idea from Salisa from Beautifully Me and You. She has a bills binder where she stuffs three to six months of expenses for each of her bills. So for example, if her cable is $100, she is stuffing three to six months of her cable and she is constantly doing that until I think she reaches six months of expenses and she's just going to keep that in there. I think that's what she's doing. But nonetheless, I got that idea from her and I thought it would be such a great idea. So that's what I'm doing. So I did purchase my envelopes from, of course, All Things Planned because I love her stuff. It's just so minimal and very well made. So you will be seeing those in a future video. So that's support small. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to T. And I am doing a savings challenge for my envelope. I'm trying not to spend it, y'all. And I think that's why I kind of wanted to do this savings challenge as well because it's hard for me to save for myself and also I wanted to challenge myself to keep the money in here which means I don't buy anything for myself because honestly your girl don't need anything. I did purchase a new wallet but I used an Amazon gift card. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay so for this stuffing I am contributing $63. That is going to be a 10, a 12, a 31, and another 10. I wrote it down in advance. So like I mentioned, it is $63. So 50, 60, 1, 2, and 3. Fifty, sixty-one, two, three. So let's see how much is in this envelope. Fifty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, two. 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 42, 242 Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Therapy is receiving $10. It's actually getting something. And y'all, I did not make my therapy appointment yet, but I know what I'm going to do. So it has 110, but um, I know the route I'm going to take for therapy. So at least I'm one step closer, right? That counts. And next or lastly is vacay or what I like to call adventures. I'm doing another savings challenge for this. 1k and these savings challenges are actually from plan your one life if i did not mention that is her challenges are linked down below in my description box it is receiving 83 dollars so 50 20 10 and these last ones 50 70 80 1 2 and 3 and i'm going to cross off 83 here Okay, VK now has 51, 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, 2, 
three, four, and five. One hundred and sixty-five dollars. Okay, and that is it for my sinking funds. Yes, and that is it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I felt like that went pretty quick, so. Let me know if you liked it. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. I'm about to take my behind to sleep. Like, I'm going to sleep right now. <laughs> I hope you all are having a great day or great night whenever you're watching this. I love y'all. God bless y'all. And I'll see y'all in my next video. All right. Bye.